People keep asking if I'm back, and I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. <laughs> ah, sit. Wait. Sit and wait. Good boy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Smoking Jazz Barbecue. And today, I'm excited because my boy's excited, and we're gonna show you how to do the first burn on this bad boy right here, which is the Pitbulls Pro Series 850. Oh man, it's gonna be a good video, guys, because I'm gonna show you how to prime it, how to work the PID, how to even pour some pellets in the hopper. I know you guys know how to do that, but they want me to show you anyway. And we want to make sure we show you how to season this bad boy so it can last you a long time. So you guys stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So there she is, guys. Look at this beautiful beast right here in front of us. Oh, baby. So as you saw from my last unboxing video, I left everything the same. I didn't touch it at all. And today is going to be my first opportunity to do the first burn. So we got to remove some of the stuff, such as the grates. And... We gotta remove the uh, flame broiler in order to show you the correct way how to use the PID to prime it. And we're gonna make sure that there's pellets going through the auger and to make sure that we're gonna get an ignition with those pellets that are gonna infuse whatever food that we're gonna be smoking. Oh man, I can't wait. So you guys stay tuned because this is how it's gonna go down right now, baby. So as you can see, we got the hopper filled uh, almost all the way or to the next level. And it says this is supposed to be a 20 pound hopper. So I'm um, not sure if that is or not, but it doesn't really matter because this is going to be enough pedals to start the first burner anyway. So guys, make sure that you have this even out as much as possible because remember in our past Pitbulls videos, this is going to sink in. We want to make sure that all the pedals are going to go down smoothly all the way down to the auger. So just a quick pro tip, this bag right here comes with a sealer, which you can seal this bag up after you use your pellets or whatever amount of pellets you use. As you can see, I got half a bag left from the pour which is did on a hopper. And as you can see, I'm pointing to the container, which is an airtight container for my pellets to be housed in. And the reason why I'm saying this pro tip is because after the opening of the bag, this right here, which contains the pellets, is going to absorb the air and it might get some moisture. And that's one thing you don't want to have if to waste the pellets because once they get moisture in the pellets, guys, it's not going to be any good whatsoever to uh, use for fuel on your um, pellet smoker. So make sure that you seal it or if not get you a cheap container like this, which is about 11 bucks, maybe 15. Um, I can't remember where I got this from guys, but I got a few of them that I house all my pellets in and you just place it in there, use the lid, place it on top of it and seal it. That it is the simplest way to make sure your pellet stays uh, as, as fresh as long as possible guys. Now that we got everything set up, it's time to rock and roll and we gotta do the first burn. But before we do that guys, we gotta do the step-by-step -step process, which is what? To start this bad boy up. So we're gonna press the power button and automatically you hear the fan come on, which is an excellent thing. The next thing we wanna make sure is that we read what's going on here. And as you can see, we got the PID working correctly. Uh, and we wanna make sure that we set it on the smoke setting first. So in order to do that, we gotta push this lever or the button to the smoke setting. That's not a five, guys. That's the smoke setting button. Oops. And we just want to make sure we set it. In order to set it, you got to push the button in one more time. And now, in order to get the the pellets from inside the hopper to the auger, we got to feed it. So we got to go through the priming system. And we just got to press the prime button, which is right here. And as you can see, the auger red, lit up in red. Hopefully, you can, hopefully you can see that, guys. And we just got to press this button for about a good three to five minutes. And I'm not gonna bore you with that pain or waiting for five minutes, but I'm gonna go through the pain myself and I'm gonna show you when the pellets come out through the auger. As you can see, we got pellets going through the auger at this point, and we just gotta let it go for about a good 5% before it ignites itself and has a nice bed of pellets in order for the igniter to actually start the burning process. So, meanwhile, while we wait for the 5%, we're gonna place the broiler inside here. Uh, the frame boiler that is, and the grates, and that way we can just house everything together and let that burning process begin.
now that we got everything housed in from the grate to the flame broiler, we're not going to use the lever to open the flame broiler, which is the sear, sear zone, excuse me guys, and we want to make sure we maximize the burn and or the fire and the, and the heat in order to kill off or burn off any chemicals or residues that are in the pit boss unit itself. So we're going to let this come up to temp. Um, we're going to let that blue smoke, which is the first burn, that smoke dissipate before we get to that white, beautiful smoke that we want. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, as you can see, we got beautiful blue smoke going and we want to, again, maximize all that heat that's in there. So we're going to close this sucker up and we're going to let it do its thing. Now, we got it on the smoke setting still, guys. And what we want to do is let that go on for about a good 10 minutes, in my opinion, 10 to 15 minutes. And then we're going to crank up the temperature to 400 degrees and let it burn for four hours. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? No, excuse me. One, half an hour. I don't know why I said four hours, guys. <laughs> I'm tripping. I don't know why I said four hours. Half an hour, guys. As you can see, we've got a nice blue smoke coming out and that's going to turn into a white smoke where we're looking for so let all that dirty smoke dissipate first and that's about the 15 minute process that i'm referring to so again half an hour burn guys not four hours i don't know why i said that um i am really smoking something that i don't even know what i'm smoking <laughs> i don't know how well you can see or if you can see the smoke coming out at all guys but it's a nice white smoke at this point this is the smoke what we are looking for to cure and to season our pit balls and burn off any chemical residue that came from the manufacturer itself but as you can see our PID is going crazy on film for some reason if I pull it back look at that guys it looks crazy right but if I push it forward like this you can see nice and clear so it's time to set it to 400 degrees and we're gonna push the button to 400 degrees guys oops Bam! Now it's just the waiting game. So we're gonna let this come up to temp and we're gonna count half an hour once to come up to temp. So that is the burning process and we're gonna let that rock and roll guys for about good half an hour and I'll let that time roll by and I'll see you back in the next clip. Hey buddy, what are you doing? <laughs> guys, as I was gonna check the uh, current status of my uh, burning process through the uh, pit balls Pro Series 850, um, I was going to check the status of all of it and I went to the Smoke It app. As you can see right here, they're no longer using this app because it's telling us to download the new app that they have available um, in the App Store. So I don't know why I can't do that. So here's the new app and look at that. Wow, that's amazing. So as you can see here, they're telling you to connect the new app to the new grill or your grill to the new app. So however you want to process that. Just FYI guys, if you already have this and disregard this part of the section of the video, but if you didn't guys, go ahead and download the new app, which is the Pitbull Bigger, Hotter, and uh, Heavier app for your experience guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year everybody. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's take a look at our temperature, guys. We're running steady from 397 to 400. As you can see, it's going to fluctuate back to 400, as you just saw right there. And it's been a good 30 minutes at this point. Let's take a look. Oh, uh, internally, wow. And as you can see, our flame boiler is starting to turn colors because it's been curing. And it's time for me to shut the flame boiler down or the sear zone and close it. So, Guys, the next thing we're going to do is season this bad boy, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So guys, in order to preserve the metal aspect of the grates and the uh, grill internally itself, we want to make sure we preserve it and season it correctly and cure it correctly. In order to do that, we got to use some canola oil, which I have here. Now, in order to do that, we're just going to spray internally. You don't have to uh, do a crazy spray, but just enough to cover every surface that you can, even the lid to protect the uh, metal itself so from rusting and everything else. So this is the way to cure it, guys. So just a quick recap, guys. We just sprayed the internal grates and the internal walls of the drum and the lid itself. 
and oh, we also sprayed the uh, frame roller so it protects the metal aspect of that as well guys you don't have to go through this step again this is just for longevity wise it's just another layer of protection in my opinion and we're going to let the smoke dissipate and let this cure for another for half an hour at the same temperature and let's take a look at our hopper as you can see guys half an hour worth of hopper it took that amount of pellets from the original uh pile that was here so that's not bad that's not bad at all i kind of like this it's a slow burning process and at 400 degrees uh I'm, I'm i'm really happy with the amount of pellets it took for at least half an hour so back to the countdown guys and there she is it's been another half an hour let me turn this uh timer off and we're still running at 400 degrees as you can see is nice and seasoned you can see there's a film right there that created it which is that layer that we're referring to sorry guys I know you couldn't see and as you can see our frame ball is starting to turn a little bit more brown more darker as I should say and that is what we're looking for that is the seasoning process we're looking for so a total time of about an hour or so uh, of curing and seasoning and you know burning off all those chemicals that came from the factory uh internally so it preserved the metal itself but we don't want that uh, on our food because that's going to definitely harm us one way or another so this is the best way to do it guys uh in my opinion so uh we're going to do a final test and i'm going to show you where the hot spots are at by doing a bread test guys as you can see we're running about four two four three and it's been about 10 minutes and i decided to flip the bread over just to let you know where the hot zones are at and as you can see this is the cooler side because the bread is lightly toasted as you can see right there guys and moving on to the middle side this is where it's nice and toasted as well but it's a little bit darker so that's our warmer side and this is our hot side and as you can see the bread is a lot darker so uh, we ran this test for about a good 10 minutes or so just to show you where the hot zone is at so meaning this test allows you to see where your hot zone is at for your immediate cuts of meat such as your brisket your chicken your turkeys uh or even ribs whatever you want to decide to cook on their media or fatter side use the hot zone side first and switch it over and always keep in mind guys as you're barbecuing always rotate together even cook throughout the whole entire process so let's shut it down and we're going to go over a recap of the process of what we did so far. So in order to shut it down, we just press the power button for about three seconds. And as you can see, that's the shutdown mode that you want to see. The blue light that says shutdown mode. Well, there you have it, guys. This is how you do the first burn, the first cure, and the seasoning aspect of preserving this beautiful piece right here. Pit Balls Pro Series 850. Oh man. And not to mention, we did the bread test to see where the hot zones are at on your pedal smoker. Man. But let's do a quick recap of what we did so far, guys. We insert some uh, pellets into our hopper and we end up using the prime to prime and push the uh, pellets to the uh, uh, burn pot. Once we got about a good 5% of that pellets that came to the burn pot, we inserted our frame boiler and covered it up and also inserted our grates in order to start the burning process. Uh, once we did that burning process, we started at the smoke setting and we cranked the temperature all the way up to 400 degrees for about a good half an hour, guys. After that, we seasoned it and cured it with some canola oil and we sprayed the grates down and the walls of the internal drum along with the lid. Now that's a layer of preserve, preservatives that I like to use, well, excuse me, it's a layer of protection, not preservatives, to protect the metal itself and for the longevity. We're going to do that set for about another three to four times throughout the lifetime of this uh, beautiful beast right here, this pellet smoker. And you don't have to go in that route. You don't have to use that set if you don't want to. And just to burn it for a good half an hour to get off the chemicals and the uh, uh, the residue that's going to be remaining behind is very important because you don't want that in your food whatsoever. So that's why we did that step. And along with the bread test, guys, man, this is crunchy. This is done. That's your hot spot. Now you got to do the bread test in order to find out where your hot spot is because every pellet grill or pellet smoker has different hot zones. So this is mine on this on this particular side, and that's the cooler side. As you can see, our uh, you know shutdown process is finished. So. 
And speaking of that, that is it guys. This is how you do the first burn on the Pitfalls Pro Series 850. Now, tell me down below guys and tell me how you do your first burn or if you already had that grill or any other pellet smokers. And don't forget, if you like this video guys, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And tell everybody how we did the first burn on the Pitfalls Pro Series 850. And until next time, because I can't wait to show you what we're gonna do on the first cook, this is Smoking Jazz Barbecue. And I salute everybody that watches this video. Thank you so much. Until the next time, guys.